now at 7.30 here on CBS Mornings. And on his way to Northern Ireland yesterday, President Biden spoke to the family of a journalist the U.S. says is wrongfully detained in Russia. Evan Gershkovich of The Wall Street Journal is the first American reporter to face Russian charges of espionage since the Cold War, charges that The Wall Street Journal, as well as the U.S. government, strongly deny. In a statement yesterday, Gershkovich's family said, in addition to being a distinguished journalist, Evan is a beloved son and brother. There's a hole in our hearts and in our family that won't be filled until we are reunited. And on the subject of reunited, being reunited, Ambassador Roger Carstens, the State Department's special presidential envoy for hostage affairs, joins us now to talk about what's being done to bring Evan back home. Good morning, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, Evan, born in New Jersey, taken from a restaurant in Russia in late March, uh, and very little, if any, contact with him since then. What can you tell us about efforts to get him home right now? Hey, Tony, it's uh, good to be with you this morning. Uh, since Evan's been taken, uh, we've had kind of a full court press within the State Department and U.S. government writ large. Uh, as you probably know, the very day that he was taken, uh, members of the State Department met with uh, members of the Wall Street Journal, his employer, to discuss what we knew at that point. The very next day, Secretary Blinken issued a statement condemning an, uh, the action and asking for more information from the Russians. Since then, uh, senior members of the U.S. government, to include Secretary Blinken, have met with their counterparts in Russia to try to press them to release Evan and to gain more ins information. We've also been trying to gain consular access to him, uh, and you have yet had uh, any luck in that. So we're currently working hard, but maybe the most important thing you want to know is that on Monday, the 10th of April, Secretary Blinken determined Evan to be a wrongfully detained American citizen. And now that brings to bear more tools in the U.S. government to try to affect his release. You say that the U.S. government has a full court press out right now and has been pressing their Russian counterparts to bring Evan home. Can you detail any more about what that means? What do you mean by pressing? What's exactly being done? I think we, when I say the word press, it's, uh, it, I would say in the last few days, because he wasn't yet declared to be wrongfully detained, we've had verbal engagements, we've had uh, written engagements with the Russians. But now that it is wrongfully detained, we start to work on negotiating strategies and working with the Russians to, re to find Evan's release. And not only Evan, but Paul Whelan as well, as Paul's been held by the Russians for almost five years now. We understand Evan is being held, at least initially, according to the Wall Street Journal, in the same prison uh, that Paul Whelan was held in. Do you, what can you tell us about the conditions there? How urgent is the situation when it comes to Evan and his health? In terms of how he's being treated right now, we just don't really have a sense. However, from talking to Paul uh, Whelan, I talked to him, by the way, just last Monday, two days ago. He called from Russia. But in talking to Paul and talking to Trevor and talking to Brittany Griner, uh, that's a tough prison. Uh, they, if, if there's one thing that I can say that prison's famous for, it's isolation and keeping prisoners uh, in a state of isolation. And that can have a psychological effect. Yeah. Mr. Ambassador, is a prisoner swap on the table right now? You know, I really can't get into the specifics of the negotiation and what our strategy is. And for the main reason that every time we negotiate in public, we might be lessening our chances to actually get a return. What I can tell you is that a lot of options are on the table. They're being considered. And we have a pretty good track record right now. Under the Biden administration, we've brought back 26 Americans in 26 months. So we're going to find a way to bring Evan and Paul Whelan home. What can be done to prevent this kind of thing from happening again, in particular in Russia? How can you make the cost of doing this not worth it? You know, we're working on a deterrent strategy. Secretary Blinken asked me uh, a while back to work on a deterrent strategy that would raise the price of taking people for political gain from other countries, for example, and make, make the price so high that in the future those countries would not be taking Americans or, frankly, citizens of any other country. Right now, what we have done is we've developed something called the D indicator. And if you go to travel.state.gov, you'll have a chance to see which countries have a D indicator, which indicates that there's an increased chance of being taken as a wrongful all right, Mr. Ambassador, that's a good resource there. Uh, I hear you on the long-term solutions, and I also hear you on uh, the urgency of working right now to free Evan Gershkovich and Paul Whelan. Uh, we appreciate your efforts. Ambassador Carstens, thank you very much. Thank you, Tony. Take care.